right? So let's say I start from zero. First thing I would do, plan a way to make money online. And that doesn't mean that, you know, there's a lot of people that will have brick and mortar businesses and they're like, oh, not everybody can make money online. Okay, perfect. Then you won't make money online. At the age of 16, I looked at what my parents were doing, working regular jobs. And I was like, I don't want to do this. Mm -hmm. My brother was working in a gas station. I was uh, working in a hotel, you know, like mopping floors. That was my job. Like, that's what I was doing. I was like, I cannot do this. And through a family member, I actually got a flight for free sitting uh, where the flight attendants sit. Uh, and that's that was my flight to America, right? So I didn't get a, like a coach. I didn't sit like whatever it is where people sit. I sat where the flight attendants sit. And I was like at the age of 16 with $200 in, my, in a suitcase that my parents gave me, I went to America and started working pressure washing basketball courts, got gigs cleaning toilets, uh, worked at a Buffalo Wild Wings, uh, flipping the wings in the back. And eventually, I think it was part of the self-realization, I always knew that there was more. So I was always studying. I was always about self-education. I was always reading. And at the age of, I think 19 or 20, maybe one, maybe a little more, 21, I was doing side gigs. I eventually got introduced with e-commerce and crypto through a series of friends and events and it kind of panned out. It's mental real estate. That's what people don't seem to understand. It's like, you only have X amount of things that you can think about during the day. Mm -hmm. Perfect, let's say I buy some property. How much time do you have to spend allocated towards thinking about that property, getting a tenant, making sure the tenant's happy. Uh, even if I live there, okay, perfect. I make some sort of money, but all that mental real estate, sure, I make a couple hundred thousand dollars a year on some real estate investments, whatever it may be. All that mental real estate, I can make so much more money building. Mm -hmm. Dude, the internet is the best place in the world to make money. Why would I want to go to the real world? Yeah. Like, honestly speaking, it's, I'm not saying it's not a good thing, but at the end of the day, this is I, option. bro, I had a 400, I had a $4 million house. I got rid of it. Why? How much? Four mil. Okay. I got rid of it. Why? Because it was fucking bullshit. I had a headache all every month in Puerto Rico, every month pipes breaking, every month humidity, every month people in my house, big ass 5,000 square foot house, cleaners every day, gardeners every single week. Let's consider money butterflies for the sake of the illustration, right? So let's say you want to catch butterflies. Butterflies equate to dollars. There's two ways that you can gather butterflies. The first way is build a net, right? Build a massive net. It doesn't matter how optimized the net is. It doesn't matter how sophisticated it is. You always have to swing in order to catch butterflies. That's most people hustling, right? They have to clock in, they have to post, they have to uh, sell a promo in order for them to make money, in order for them to catch butterflies. That is not efficient, that is hustling, why? That's where people, most people start, mm. but you need to develop a second, second skill set, which is how to attract butterflies. How do you attract butterflies? By building a garden. Now, it might, it might sound like a foo-foo concept, but if you build a garden, that means you need to build an ecosystem. You're building an ecosystem. Now your goal is to figure out how to make it all congruent, and how to make sure people buy into that ecosystem and they don't leave to other gardens. Mm. You look at Amazon, that's a fucking garden, bro. That's a self-sustaining garden. They run, a, a, it's not just the Amazon platform. They run a plethora of platforms. Amazon AWS, IMDB, you have the Amazon, Amazon Prime, eBooks. It's an ecosystem of what? Attracting money. So the concept of going from hustle to boss is instead of working in your business and catching the butterflies once you have enough, is working on your business, yeah. which is kind of what I've been mastering, which is how to build and scale digital businesses. And in that situation, it's a completely different level of skill set. It's so easy, bro, it's so easy to bank money. You know this, online, anybody can go out and make 10 grand a month, literally. But who learns taxes? Who learns budget? Who learns human resources? Who learns product and inventory management? Who learns uh, scaling and operation? Who learns systems building? Nobody learns those things because they're the boring parts of the business. Mm -hmm. And if you don't learn them, you're gonna crash. The last thing you wanna be is a person that pumps cash but has no ability to retain it. No. You don't want to be that guy. If you don't understand how to file taxes, if you don't understand how to budget your business. I always tell, I was talking with a guy in Singapore. Uh, he was the, he's the son of the former president of Singapore, probably worth a couple billion dollars. He's done over, he's in real estate development. He's done over 2,500 real estate development projects in Singapore, super big guy. And, he, and, he and the property prices there are crazy. So he's like, he's like proper balling. 
So I, I, I was having a conversation with him and he's like, you know what the biggest issue is between the elite and people that make no money? I'm like, what? Financial literacy. Mm. He said, most people are financially illiterate and it's a language. And I'm like, what do you mean it's a language? He's like, yes, finance is the language of the elite. And it's in that financial lack of literacy that people get fucked. Yeah. Why do you need a lawyer? Because you don't know the law. Yeah. Why do you need a tax attorney? Because you don't know tax. Yeah, you don't need to know all of it. But if you don't know the basics, anybody can finesse you. And I think that's the biggest issue up, like up, up and coming entrepreneurs and even developed entrepreneurs make and end up getting screwed on is they have not developed financial literacy because it's not sexy. Yeah, and it's not taught in school either. Literally, bro. Like, for example, in school, what do they teach you about law? What do they teach you about accounting? What do they teach you about business in general or managing your, your financials or budgeting? Nothing, bro. Why? Nobody asks why. It's on purpose. You have to sit down. You don't, you don't like to read books. Nobody gives a fuck. The marketplace <laughs> doesn't care, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not going to learn everything on YouTube. Like, that's what people don't seem to understand. You're not going to learn everything on YouTube. Sometimes you have to crack open the book. Sometimes you have to study. But people think that studying is what, what you used to do in school. No, go study a topic that interests you. You can't be out here scrolling on TikTok 24 seven with dopamine hits, thinking that you're gonna get financial literacy off of a TikTok short. Yeah, maybe it gave, may give you some insight and information, but what are you gonna do with it? It's the foundation or it may be a data set or a clue to continue learning, but what you're relying off of a piece of TikTok information, even with our, our own content, to build your life upon it? No, you have to become self-educated because most of the education that we have is education of the system. Mm -hmm. It's not self-education, it's indoctrination. And we despise that. Most people at the age of six, they're not good at math. And they get told, oh, you're not good at math at the age of fucking six. Yeah. So they, they grow up their entire life saying, I, I'm not good at math. I'm not good at reading. So their entire life, they don't develop foundational skills to live their life. You need a foundation. Unless you have a foundation, you cannot build anything sustainable on top of it.